Hey there, Kerry. My name is Greg, and we connected on the Painters and Remodeling Groups in Dallas uh, Facebook group. And I had posted that I would share, that I'd shoot a video for anyone who was interested to understand what they would need to do to get more business. Um, usually, I, I I shoot these videos for for folks that have a website, and I look at their website and I tell them what they would need to change. Uh, but I think you don't have a website, so um, that's not a problem at all. I'm going to use one of your competitors in, in Dallas there to, uh, to show you what is possible. So um, the goal here um, is to beat your competition to the top of Google. And I approach this in, in three ways. Uh, that I'll, I'll give you some, some hints and suggestions about these three things. If you're going to think about building a website, which I really suggest you do, um, if you want to get that those customers finding you, uh, is to think about content, backlinks, and citations. Content are the words and images. That's the quality and quantity of words and images on your website. The second one being backlinks. That's the number of times that your website is linked to from other websites. This is a popularity contest. The more times you're linked to from other sites, the more Google assumes that you're trustworthy. And the third thing being citations. So you want to get your business name, address, and phone number mentioned in as many directories, local and national, yellow pages, Yelp, et cetera, et cetera, uh, as possible. Um, these three things together allow Google to assume that you have authority, trust, and relevance. Google cares very much about um, their customers' search experience. They want to make sure that what they what they show them on the first page of Google is authoritative, uh, is trustworthy, and relevant. They they want their customers' questions to be answered. That's the basis of their business model. Okay, so if we do these three things correctly you have an opportunity to win two places on the first page of, of Google. Uh, first, in the map pack. Okay. Secondly, in the organic rankings here. Let me show you what is possible if you do this correctly. I'm looking at a tool that I have access to, um, and uh, it, it gives me some insights. Okay. So uh, the top three, the top two competitors, Junk King, uh, Dallas, and also uh, Stand Up Guys, Junk King uh, gets 170 customers visiting their, their site every month. Stand up guys, almost 40. Uh, but you can see this is um, this is a lot. They don't have to do anything for this traffic. It comes to them. Okay. Uh, now we think about what that means to your business if you can get these customers finding you. And when they land on your site, they call you or they or they fill out a form and they make an inquiry. Okay, this is the goal. So we're going to talk about content. When you create a web page, and I really strongly suggest that you do. Here's an example of one. This is stand up guys. You know. This is engaging to me. When I land on this, when I do a search and I'm looking for junk removal, I'm really engaged by, by the website. It's modern, it's inviting, and I get confidence that these guys will do a good job for me. Um, so you need, it, you need at least 1,500 words on the home page. You need 500 words per, per service page. So if you're thinking about creating a, a, a website, think of those numbers. 1,500 words on the home page, 500 words every page after that. When you write the content, Okay, this is content here. Uh, you need to think about keywords. That is, uh, a keyword is, for example, what you type into Google to find something. Junk removal, Dallas, Texas. That's what I used, um, and I found these searches. Okay, you want to make sure that that these keywords or any variation of these keywords are written throughout your site. Let's take a look here. So these guys have got uh, junk removal company, Dallas, Texas. Okay, and variations of it. So you want to write all these keywords into your site. I'll show you just exactly what they have done. So they've got 117 keywords in their site. And the keywords that they've used are what I call buyer intent location-based keywords. Location-based means your customer is in Dallas. So you got to call out Dallas in, in the keyword. If you if you do this correctly, then when, when a customer is searching for junk removal Dallas, and this is also in your website, Google can make a match and push your page up because they know it's relevant. Junk Removal Dallas has 200 people searching for that a month. Uh, junk Hauling Services, okay, that doesn't have a location. I'd ignore that one. Junk Removal Dallas, Texas, 80 a month. Uh, here we go. Junk junk Pickup Dallas, 40 people a month searching for that. Now, the strategy that you'd want to do here when you write your content to create your website is you pick the top 10 or 15 best keywords that have the most amount of volume that are easiest to compete against and you build your whole website around that. Okay, that's content. Uh, it's very powerful. So the second thing I want to talk about is uh, backlinks. So 
A backlink is the number of times that your site is linked to from another site. Uh, you can see here that um, Stand Up Guys have five referring domains. That is, they've persuaded five other websites to link back to their website. Um, the process here, or the strategy here, is to beat your competitor in these numbers. You want to you want to go out and find 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 other websites that will link back to you. And the process we go through is to call them or email them. Sometimes we pay, sometimes it's just an application process, and we ask them to link to us. And if they do, uh, Google assumes we are trustworthy and it, it drives our power up, meaning that we can rank up and get all that volume. Uh, the third thing is citations. So you want to be listed in directories. You want to be found in Yellow Pages. You want to be found in Yelp uh, and all these other ways that um, people might search for you. Um, you want to figure out all the directories that you can possibly uh, be in that are relevant to your business. We figure out who your competitors, where your competitors are listed, and we double that. We, we beat the number massively. And if you do that, then uh, you have an opportunity here to um, to, to beat your to, to win this 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 math pack. The first three results, apart from uh, any ads, first th three results that anyone sees. This is super important because if you're in this position here. Most people who are searching on their mobile phones today um, are able to, with one click of a button, call you, okay, from your listing, directly call you, which means that it's very easy. There's no friction between searching and calling. This really gets the phone ringing, and this is where you want to be, okay? So without, without further ado, let me send this email to you, uh, this video to you, Kerry. Um, my strongest suggestion is that you think about getting a website. And when you build that website, you, you, you follow the suggestions that I've made to you here. There is a whole ton of opportunity to get traffic to your website. Okay, uh, I don't think that these two top guys are easy uh, are, are all that difficult to beat. Um, so think about how you could grow your business in that way. Now, if you need my help, please ask me any questions you, you want. Uh, if you want anyone to do this work for you, I do this work. Um, all of it end to end, so I can help you here too. Um, if you want to have a further discussion to see what that looks like, process wise, numbers wise, I'm happy to do that for you. Um, without further ado, Kerry, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to, to shoot this for you. And truly, I, I wish you the best and I hope that this information is useful to you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Kerry. All the best.